Hi, I'm a, my name is Jerry Benson, and I'm going to show you how to make a yucca didgeridoo. We call this the chaparral yucca. And they're prevalent here out in the outback, uh, Southern California, that is. What we want to do is, first of all, get rid of these really spiny leaves. And the bell goes right down into the ground. It's very, very delicate. So we want to get down there and cut it off at ground level. And to find one about this size, we'll probably look look over several hundred yuccas before we find one this big. Usually they're fairly small. Now these uh, spiny leaves are definitely sharp. It's not just the edges, it's the very point. Needle sharp. You see if I already got hold of my arm. From these spiny leaves. I'm going to clear it out as close as I can to the ground level. Keep them away from you. Those Somehow they like to find your skin, which they can find it through my leather gloves, through my pants, and they like to put little holes. I think that's their way of saying, I'm not ready to go yet. But so we want to get it down below ground level. And at this point, since this has been dead for probably nearly a year and a half, fairly dry except we've had a lot of rain here in Southern California last week so the ground's pretty wet. You can see the bell, it's about a five and a half, almost six inch bell. Come take a picture of this right down here. I am getting it. Close. Yes. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut it. If I try to break it, it'll just split in about three or four places to totally destroy that bell. So we need to cut it, support it with this hand. As I cut it, gradually lean it back. And yeah, it is <coughs> it's fairly wet right now. So once you uh, put this in your garage or in my garage for a couple of weeks, the bottom will dry out. Because it's dry except for crop a couple years from now. I'm going to cut a little bit long. We can always cut it later. Because you want maybe at least an inch and a half diameter here. You could even go down a little farther somewhere. Somewhere in the last two feet. So that's a pretty nice ditch. As a matter of fact, I think I'd buy that. DYI didgeridoo Contact me and I'll sell you one just like this, reasonable price. Save you all this work, you get to do the fun part. Have a great day.